Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is with the RC and welcome back to another video on my channel. By the way, I decided to call you guys, call my little army, not really a little army, but so it's going to be EST, um, EST. So what that means is everyone stands together. So it's going to be my, you guys are going to be called EST army. Everyone stands together army. But enough chit chat. Uh, well, not really enough chit chat. But we are back, and uh, uh, if you tell by the title, it is going to be a G Fuel video. Um, this came today is Saturday. Um, I got this in the mail Friday. Um, but it was at my house, and I'm at my grandma's house currently. And today, I went to, my grandma went to a store, then we went to my house to pick this up, and I, I've i tried this uh, G Fuel before, Raging Gummy Fish, it's one, it's my favorite flavor, I've tried 12 of their flavors, now those 12, I, my favorite was Raging Gummy Fish, it was so refreshing, it tasted so good, it smells so good, so yeah. This is my first ever tub, so that's what makes it so special. Um, I bought it on Amazon. That's why there's like green right here uh, behind the gu the raging gummy fish. Um, I don't know why they changed it. Um, on the official one, it is uh, blue behind them. I'm pretty sure, but uh, th this is an official tub. They just changed that. It tastes the same as when I had the packet. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I'll let you guys. It turns out that the Amazon nice tub and the G Fuel yeah, tub the does TV not taste TV. different at all. Well, I'm recording it in 4K, but it's going to re render in at 1080p. So, getting that nice 1080p look. If you guys want to look at the nutrition facts, there you guys go. Hopefully, that's not upside down for you guys. And yeah, so let's get into open it. So I did unseal it just so I have not tried it yet. So gotta dig out for the scooper. So one thing I did do was take this the scooper part off, but here is the scooper. I'm actually gonna clean this off. Give me one second, guys. Now I did change the camera position. Um, just, I just moved it a little bit back more and pushed it up, but here is the scooper. I just cleaned it out just because I know powder is going to get all over it. And by the way, the powder is like, uh, pink. Uh, it's like a pinkish, uh, but you do get 40 servings in here. So I'm happy about that. So I'm going to fill up my, um, and to me, I've had G Fuel before, but the packet form and I tried some without uh, ice and with ice. And the better tasting results was ice. I don't know why. You try if you get G Fuel and see what you guys think. And I'm going to go fill up this with water and grab some ice as well. Okay, so I did grab my water and there's ice in here, as you can hear. So let's... By the way, if you do not know how to make G Fuel, I've never made G Fuel in uh this before but i have made it in there so it's pretty i did not explain this good enough i never made it like by a tub but i have made it with packets of g-fuel so i said i usually put four ice cubes in my g-fuel so i couldn't really tell you how much ice this is but it's a bit more than i think what i usually put in but I'm going to fill this into, okay, so there is measurements on here. I know that I've had this, uh, for like, a, for like, I think like six months or something like that, but I don't fully know. Um, but there is measurements on the side, uh, f to 15 ounces and 500 milliliters or something like that. But I'm going to fill this up until... Uh, like kind of like 18 ounces basically because I because if you think about it the 
the ice isn't going to turn water instantly. So you're going to want to put a little bit more water just so it doesn't taste, the G Fuel doesn't taste watered down. Wait, oh wait, so it's not too strong. But I'm going to grab my scooper. And by the way, if you do not know how much G Fuel you should put in, you should put exactly one scoop. So this is a little over a scoop. So I'm going to actually use my finger and like smoothen it out. So there you go. That is one scoop of G Fuel. And it got all over the table, but it's all right. And the colors should be the same. I don't know why it wouldn't. That would be weird. If it, It's official. It just, I got it off of Amazon because the shipping, it would, it was a lot cheaper. Because G Fuel, they were trying to get me to pay like $11 for shipping. And I also ordered Sonic Peach Rings. Uh, look out for that video with a collaboration of some very special people in my life um but yeah got powder all over me Just trying not to waste any powder but you can tell it's already starting to be like a little pinkish reddish uh, definitely a lot pinkish but let's get to mixing hope you guys enjoy the minute time lapse and let's get into it okay so i mixed it all up for about a minute to two minutes um, I did get some things about the tubs and the packets difference. So I did notice that the packets, uh, the G Fuel packets are like, like salt, like the powder is like salts and the, um, tubs, they're like a lot more powder. So, um, people were saying they were having their G Fuel being way too chalky and having a horrible aftertaste. I've had this flavor before. I just wanna make this video because I never had it in the tub and I wanted to try the difference. Um, so I do remember what it tastes like. It tastes pretty good. Um, the smell test, that's what we have to do first. So I have not opened that yet, but let's smell the powder. Um, that sounds a little weird, but if you know in the G Fuel community that the G Fuel has a lot of different smells for the different flavors, so. So, the powder, it smells like, it kind of smells like, it just smells like, kind of like a sweetener. I don't know what sweetener, I, I, I feel like I've smelled it before, but I don't know. But, uh, let's smell this now. Yeah, yeah, the powder, it just smells like a... a sugar of some sort and that the uh when it's all mixed up it actually smells so by the way this does contain lead and i was on amazon looking at the reviews and someone ha made it a one star saying that they bought it for the whole entire family and they saw that it contained lead now the reason it contains lead is because the fruits that they put in here because everything's basically everything's all natural in here like all the blue bear all the like berries and stuff they put in here is all natural and of course the dirt is going to have some iron in it and it's going to get on the uh stuff um on the like berries and stuff so that's why it does contain lead it's not because of like anything really harmful but if you see that it has lead and you see videos about it I just want to tell you that's why. It's because of the fruits, and it doesn't contain a high amount of lead. It's just because the state of California states that you have to have, like, a warning label on it, so, for it to be produced. So, here we go. Raging Gummy Fish Tub Edition. Let's try it. Let me shake it. And not very powdery. So, I am sensing that people, they don't mix it up enough, or they just put too much G Fuel in it. Because people are saying it was chalky and stuff. So let's try it. Hopefully it tastes good. And if you guys want to drink G Fuel with me, if you already have it, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Same taste I remember. Mm. I don't taste the chalkiness. I don't taste a bad aftertaste either. It tastes so amazing. This is worth the $32. I bought this on Amazon because the shipping was free. 
and it also costs like twenty five dollars. On G Fuels, um, it costs thirty five. That's like a ten dollar difference. Um, and by the tub by itself on the G Fuel website would have been forty five dollars. This was thirty two. That's a big difference as well. And I do not regret it at all. I love this flavor. And I do not regret buying it. I already gave it a five stars when uh, it arrived. So I don't know why. I just love this flavor so much. It's underrated. Um, this flavor came out two years ago, mind you. Oh, uh, yeah. This G Fuel flavor came out two years ago. This might be a thumbnail. Two years ago. That is insane. But, yeah, I love this flavor. I already know I'm going to be drinking this for the rest of the night. It is 7.31. I already know I'm going to be drinking this for the rest of the night, man. Um, It does. I'm pretty sure it has one, uh, 18, every ounce, uh, 16 to 18 ounces is about 150 milligrams of caffeine. Now, if you guys know my real age, it is 14, and you're wondering how is a 14-year-old able to have 150 milligrams of caffeine and more, because I also drink a cup of coffee every morning, but I want to replace that cup of coffee with the G Fuel. I, uh, the reason why I drink coffee every morning is because I have ADHD, and you might may not notice that I have ADHD when you do not know me. But you, uh, when you get to know me, you'll understand. Like, uh, when the caffeine starts to wear down, you can tell I'm a lot more hyper and I can talk really fast like this. Um, but caffeine, if you never heard anything about this, caffeine actually helps people with ADHD. And I've felt that it really does help. Uh, I used to be on medicine um, for my ADHD because so, it was pretty bad. Um and it, my mom and dad took me off of it and I wanted it off of it because it made me have depression for a bit. It ha made it made me a lot more angry because I have a bit of a like, I have a temper and a lot of anger. And then also like I was so gloomy part with the depression. I was so angry and I had no appetite. So yeah, and caffeine really helped me. I'm hoping I can replace that cup of coffee with G Fuel because coffee it tastes all right but G Fuel it tastes a lot better so I'm hoping that this can replace it I do feel some side effects um not really side effects some effects of it uh by the way G Fuel I've drunk in it for like almost a year now um and it hasn't given me any jitterness like coffee does it does help me like if you don't if you can't tell i haven't really said um a lot like if you go to my other videos i have said um a lot so yeah i just if i don't really know what to talk about and i try to come up with something i try to fill in the blanks with um but I love G Fuel. I know a lot about it. If you could test me, I would probably get 80% to 100%. It's because I don't know everything about it, but I do know a lot about it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I very much appreciate it. Um, I did buy, order some Sonic Peach Wings can, cans and some very special people, special guests and people in my life who are going to be coming on my channel um to taste it with me so if you guys please make sure to like subscribe and comment and look out for that video and peace guys